bounce. <laughs> they gotta cut through like that every single time, too. Oh, God. What's up, y'all? So, just got off the train. Um, the, so, I basically, I was late today, I guess, and I missed the uh, I missed the bus I needed to take. So now I have to walk to work for a little bit and try to catch my bus while it's on the way to my job. But I think by then I, I might make it by the time the bus even gets near me. So it's about a 30-minute walk. About 1.5 miles, nothing crazy, you know, but still, I gotta walk, so, hey man, lessons you learn, right? <laughs> this ain't my first time being late, though, so, it's just hard trying to line things up with public transportation, bro, because everything gonna run on time, and everything got its intervals in which it runs, and so you can, you can just be late by one minute, and it's all over, so. I know it's kind of loud because the car is coming, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to walking. I'm still on the way there now. I think I'm about 25 minutes, so come along with me. You ain't got to tell me that I got it. Look, I know that I got it. I know that I got it. I knew my new shit was the hottest for anyone new things about it. New things about it. Notifications from... All right, guys, quick update. So I just got... So I had to... I'm, not, I'm late, so I had to let my boss know I was late, whatever. I told him, yeah, I'm currently walking now. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. And he called me right after and was like, no, you're not walking, send me your location. I told him I was fine, but I guess, you know, I just thank God for blessing me and having somebody that would care to, you know, come out their way to leave and then come get me, you know, but yeah, so I'm currently walking to this general location up here so he can meet me up there and scoop me and uh yeah so i just got to the office y'all i am about to do the regular routine and then i'm probably going to grab some tea because uh i didn't get my morning coffee this morning and i don't really want coffee today i'm just not feeling it so we'll do tea but uh, just want to give you an update i made it so the bank and got a check, no it's deposits Run the same time, I got prescribed like three antibiotics A life about balance and not a plaster People who label me as conscious I'm not turning other cheeks, but I'm not for beef Never been me if we be But I have registration for classes tomorrow um, and, um, I think after that I'll probably release this video And then start the next one microphone comes in the mail so the audio should improve pretty soon <coughs> but uh, other than that that's it I'm looking forward to some very good content it's good job so it's the midday check-in um, I'll be going to lunch pretty soon probably around like 12 so another 45 minutes and um, I may or may not grab something to eat. We'll see um, how things are looking regarding that. It is kind of cold outside. I'm not sure if I'm going to take that walk down there, but you know, you never know what you do when you're hungry. You know what I'm saying? For some food. So we'll see about that. Um, currently, things are just a little slow, dragging, but I've been kind of uh, just making an effort to reach out to people and stuff and do my job. Uh, so uh, other than that, I'm just going to keep that positive mentality, keep going moving forward, and things will definitely work out in this favor for sure. What's up, y'all? Currently on lunch. So, um, I'm currently walking to the place I went to yesterday. It's called Sweetwater Brewery. Gonna get me some salad. Either some salad or some chicken, chicken tenders and fries. But, um, on a serious note, um, these vlogs, they're not just gonna be very much. I'm pretty sure, to me, well, to me, they seem very mundane, very plain, very boring. But I am going to have a theme to my vlogs from now on, so... For the next six months, I'm doing a transformation, and every day is going to be a topic. So, this week, I'm just going to give the introduction just to reintroduce myself to myself, discovering who's Jair outside of, you know, Jair the corporate employee, or Jair the athlete, or Jair the YouTuber, Jair the boyfriend, Jair the son, Jair the grandson. 
all these different hats that we people use or that we wear throughout the course of our day, we kind of forget about who we are individually. And so um, I think taking the initiative to do that, I want to start off with day one being goal setting. And so, um, and when a few things to consider, especially when it comes to goal setting is you want to put yourself with small achievable steps because you want to you want to be able to celebrate the small wins in which those small wins will help you gain confidence it's important when setting goals that you set goals that are achievable that have very small action steps to achieve them to celebrate each time you achieve that to con to continue to boost your confidence so my goal um, i'm going to give my three month goal because in three months i will be in a totally different environment and i need to prep myself for that i'm going back to college uh, full time so yeah definitely in for a, a long run but this is what I wanted this is what I was looking forward to and coming back to what I feel like where I can find my purpose and really settle down so my goal for the next three months is to um, put myself in a better financial situation going into the semester uh, number two is to put myself mentally in a better situation going into the semester so I've been going to therapy a lot and so that's one of the, and the third goal to get myself better academically is I'm going to be reading at least one to two books a month. Then the, fa the last and final goal, the fourth one is I want to focus on my body and my physical health. So eating more healthy, going to the gym more regularly, getting into a routine in that manner. So that way I can continue to build upon those habits. So that when I get in that new space and environment, I can continue those healthy habits to put myself in a better situation and maybe be better this time around in school than I was the last time. Anyways, we're about to be here at Sweetwater, so I'll let you know. All right guys, so I don't know if you guys can hear me too well, but I'm actually getting the, um, the Chef Special Rasta Pasta. It has a Caribbean jerk pasta with uh, garlic, onion, uh, peppers, house-made jerk cheese sauce, and some black and chicken. So that's what I'm getting. I also got me a ginger ale drink. It's a restaurant as well. Um, typically, a lot of times you see a lot of us come over and you know they may grab a drink or something after work or so. But honestly, it's a great place to eat. You know, nobody's really like how I put it. This corporate environment isn't the typical corporate environment you would see anywhere else. They're not really like uptight or like old taboo. Like no, like grab a few drinks, grab a few beers. Like we work hard. You know deserve to treat ourselves however we decide to treat ourselves whatever our vices may be everybody's different some people drink some people don't drink um, me personally I do drink but not as often so like during lunch I'll grab a ginger ale you know and then maybe after I may grab a, a, a beer or something nothing crazy though you know what I'm saying especially uh, they have really good flavors it's a really good quality your international brands you can take them out the sweet butter brewery so uh, yeah I'll get back to you as my food comes out that's what it's looking like right there. We're off to put some black and chicken on top. Um, well, I'm about to put on a good little, little YouTube video. Watch me something. Uh, I'm not sure I think what I want to watch. I might watch Nightcap with Channel Joe Cinco and Shannon Sharp. So, yeah. Time to throw that on this food, man. You know what I mean? Being honest, got a little pole and keep a poke on me so they won't catch me slip. As if the most famous pick of Malcolm wasn't the one in which he had the stick in it. I got a little shorty from up north, but you know she built like a country bumpkin. Talk a thick enough to sit a cup on it, won't even move, you know how I'm bumming. <laughs> Hood too, she got mob ties, can't cap, I love it I mean, she the type who drunk uncles Always trying to shake up at family functions We was down the street from family focus Boom. Alright guys, I just got finished with lunch It's gonna be kinda darker going this way Cause the sun is behind me So I'm just gonna make this quick Headed back now um, I'll be there in about a few minutes A little couple minute walk This is the building though It's like a big warehouse on the back of it And then the tap room is back there So Catch you guys at the office. All right, y'all. I just got off work. Finna uh wait for the bus to get here. It's to be here in about five minutes. 
um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you've already seen the world. <laughs> my, uh, my commute home is already repetitive, so I'm not really gonna show too much of it, but yeah. I'm gonna bust out waiting at this one. Right there, 1486, Dylan emerged right after the other child. That was the one up in the middle. Mama raised the 18 like she Della Reese. My nigga is rolling next to me like. Alright, that's probably much better. So I stopped at Publix to get a sub and some chips, or whatever, something to drink. Now, um, when I was at Publix, I actually encountered some um, older men of my community. Um, they were older white men, actually. And I say, I'm given this experience to say that, like, as a new person in this generation, I want to be the person that can give these people, not these people, but to give people that are not my skin color, I want to give them a good example of who we are, right? And so I was talking to him, whatever. It was a slight joke that somebody made basically about the service that was going on in the store. I laughed, whatever. I was being nice, being cordial. And, you know, they knew I was young. And so they asked me, it was like, you know, so how are things in this world right now for you? And I just let them know that, like, for me personally, it's been very tough for me adjusting and just trying to make a way for myself, especially doing it independently. Um, very most, most likely, not, not very most likely, but mostly independent. Actually, probably 90 out of 90% out of the 100, I'm independence is, is what I am right at the moment. And it been, has been for the past two to three years. And so to, I let them know that, yeah, it's hard, but you got to keep your head up. You got to continue to keep going and you can't let things keep you down. That's just how it goes. Um, especially as a college student in this world, it can be really tough. And, you know, the actual school I went to and everything I told them or whatever. And, you know, ultimately it ended up leading to me telling them just basically on a surface level what my story was that like class of 2020 graduate in high school, COVID year, you know, not no graduation, no prom, no nothing, you know, and to go into the first year of school during COVID, it was horrendous. It was horrendous. And the other older gentleman said that, you know, even his even his daughter had a hard time adjusting and, and he, she ended up not going the school route no more because it was so tough on her. And so a lot of us in our generation stopped that route and a lot of us took un untraditional routes. And I just told him that, you know, I took a break for a couple of years to start my career. I did. I got a great experience. I have an amazing job. I get paid more than the median salary of any Audi that comes out of college my age. Yes. OK, but. I'm missing something and I told him, you know, I need to go back and finish what I started I'm in an advantageous part I'm in an advantageous place because I have the experience now getting this last step and this last key to my career What my career goals are getting that last piece will help me continue to go further not just on an academic level professional level but even on a social level um it's a lot of anxiety a lot of mental health issues going around because we don't have the opportunity or in we're not in the spaces to be able to use our voice and so going to school putting a pause on the real world that's the only time i will get a chance to do that and, and to put a pause on the real world and focus on what i need to focus on what i want to focus on what i, what I want I'm tired of doing what everybody else wants to do, everybody else wants me to do, and where everybody recommends. It's time that I focus on doing what I'm doing. I gave the experience with the older men in the store for a reason because they told me that, you know, that it, it gives them hope that the world is in good hands. Just off of just them, the conversation they had with me. And I didn't even give them, I only gave them a very surface level. They don't know me, basically. They don't, they don't really know me. And, that is one of the reasons why I will always continue to push forward, to move forward, because there's people out here who don't even know me, but are willing to support me wholeheartedly. Like I literally just got a recommendation for AT&T today. Like if it puts kind of stuff, I ever see that man again, like, you know what I'm saying? I could, put, it's so crazy because my, my life trajectory could change because of that. And it's like, I'm going to continue to pride myself on being me. Because everything I done did, everything that I've been through, everything that I've accomplished, I stood on and done because of me. And so I'm going to continue to do that and be that and continue to be the example and let everybody know that, hey, 
our generation on paper or on social media may look a certain way, but there's so many of us out here that are trying, that are doing the best we can. And now we're in a pivotal point because we're entering the workforce. A lot of us are graduating. We're about to start changing these companies and innovating and making the world a better place, especially in the corporate world. And we're taking it one company at a time. So if you are in these spaces, I want you to get ready. You better hold on to your seats on that train ride because it's about to get bumpy. Because baby, we coming and we coming hard. We coming for everything. Thing. We're changing it. We're changing the dynamic. We're changing the norm. Best believe it. All right, y'all. I'm not going to take no more time, more of you guys' time. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate you guys for sticking around this long. Um, without further ado, you guys have a blessed day. And please be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment what your favorite part was, and um, see you guys tomorrow.